guys you can uh, easily also identify your ACU number this particular number here in the DME when you are using your IM if you want to really identify what part number is it so what you're gonna do is enter this part number here so what I'm trying to do in my IM 608 so sorry um, then I'll be getting the number and we have a zero six we have a zero six one s zero seven okay and uh, then we have s zero seven then we have three three four then we have three three four and uh, that is okay you come here you take it down and you click in now uh, okay then it call the ec type engine dme type you can see 17.2 that is the that is the engine this is where you can add, easily identify the engine ecu type okay and then So this is on bench, boot return, this is on bench. So and then this is the engine number uh, engine number, ME number, and you know it brought you to the connection. So this is the connection how you're gonna connect it. Mm, uh, though even if I don't have the do I have the connection here already? So but even if I don't have the connection, even if I don't have the connection, I can still you know with that part number. I can quickly identify the ECU number. You see, I can easily identify the ECU mm -hmm. number to to be able to you know the you know the uh, the connection of the wire because we have different model of the ECU here. So and um, I'm not gonna read it again because do I've read it? And then let me just go back. So let me show you guys that. Uh, where you, where, you, where you want to read it i can just uh let me let me uh can be online let me unplug the socket see i'm trying to unplug the socket i'm trying to unplug the socket i don't need it so uh what i'm going to do is i'm going to input the number again so you can see that not until not until you have the connection on your dme so what you're gonna do here right now guys and come to engine come to engine okay this is direct then we come to quick entrance then uh do let me check if the number is still there yeah the number is still here that's the particular number i just enter and this is the number this is the number here guys as you can see this is the number this is the 10 digit number you need i know he's telling you here please input the ecu information according to the guide in help ecu of bot please input 10 digit number and this is the number because this issue is botch you can see this is botch and then uh, the issue number of Siemens continental please input the type like msv80 or something like that so but this is botch so i've entered the number so i'm gonna click okay here so now we have the uh, ECU type you can see this is the number of my ECU MD 17.2 uh, and then yeah, yeah, it's on bench I click bench so this is the part number of the engine the ECU number sorry so it will take you to the connection you know so this is the connection how you're gonna do your connection on the engine ECU okay so very easy and then we have here pin 46 is positive we have the ground 
so here we come this is 46 here and um, this is the ground and then we have our can 45 and 44 you know this is our can connection this is the can wire and then we have the t we have the t1 we have the t3 and then here are they here and then here you come with the you know t1 goes to the 55 here you know you're gonna count this 55 here and 51 sorry i say 55 this 51 here and then we have the and then we have the t3 connection from the gbus 2 coming to this number six the issue here so this is the issue this is the issue and then um you can see sorry i'm just lying down so this is the issue here and this is the connection and this is the same connection here this is how you're gonna get your connection here so guys if this is your first time watching my youtube channel please subscribe to my youtube channel this is miami automobile technical services i'll be coming on with different different kind of video i'll show you things on im even on mercedes benz system range rover please subscribe to my youtube channel like my video share my video thanks for watching